The sciatic nerve arises from the ventral rami of spinal nerves L4 to L5 and S1 to S3. It is the largest nerve in the body with both motor and sensory functions. It divides at the posterior aspect of the knee into the posterior tibial nerves and the common fibular or peroneal nerves. The common peroneal nerve arises from L4 to S2 as part of the lateral aspect of the sciatic nerve proximal to the popliteal fossa and then continues to the lateral side of the leg where it curves around the neck of the fibula. Damage to the common peroneal nerve can cause foot drop, which is the inability to dorsiflex the foot. The posterior tibial nerve rises from the fourth and fifth lumbar nerves and from the first three sacral nerves. The fibers join those of the common fibular or peroneal nerve to form the sciatic nerve. The posterior tibial nerve divides at the posterior aspect of the knee and travels down the medial aspect of the leg while giving off multiple branches. The sensory portion of these nerves are monitored using SSUP. Stimulation of these nerves causes efferent responses to travel up the gracilis tracts in the posterior aspect of the spinal cord and cross over to the medial aspect of the postcentral gyrus. The median nerve is one of the branches of the brachial plexus. It arises from both the lateral and medial cords and consists of nerve fibers from the 5th, 6, 7, 8 and T1 spinal nerves. The ulnar nerve is one of the branches of the brachial plexus. It arises from the medial cord and consists of nerve fibers from the 7th, 8th and T1 spinal nerves. The sensory portion of these nerves are monitored using SSUP. Stimulation of these nerves causes efferent responses to travel up the conoetus tracts in the posterior aspect of the spinal cord and cross over to the lateral aspect of the postcentral gyrus.